Hey YouTubers, this is Jose Fantasyville here in uh, San Antonio, Texas. I'm getting ready to go into the Spanish Governor's Palace. Uh, take a walking tour through there um, here in the historic downtown San Antonio area. This uh, marker here is the growth of the city. During March 5th through March 9, 1981, City San Antonio commemorated the 250th anniversary of the arrival of 16 immigrant families from the Canary Islands to Presidio, San Antonio de Beja, and the transfer of three Franciscan missions from East Texas to local riverfront sites. On March 5th, 1731, Spanish military personnel assisted Franciscan friars in reestablished missions La Purisma Concepcion de Acuna, San Juan Capistrano, and San Francisco de la Espada. Shortly thereafter, on March 9, 1731, soldiers and their families of the Presidio welcomed the entrada of 56 civilian settlers from the Canary Islands into the Plaza de Armas. These Zileno colonists subsequently inaugurated the first municipal government in the Spanish province of Texas at the Villa de San Fernando. August 1st, 1731. Altogether, President Sevilla and military missionary components and frontier society contributed significantly to the multicultural growth and development of modern San Antonio. So I'll take a walk. This statue here is to Moses Austin. I'll come by afterwards. I'll head in there. This area that I'm in is called La Plaza de Armas, also. The Conquistador. People's, this was given to the people of San Antonio the government of Spain as a symbol of the close ties of Spain and San Antonio. Sculptor was Enrique Mojo. Mon Mojo. Ah. Commemoration the visit of Their Majesty King and Queen of Spain on the occasion of the tricentennial, June 17. Spanish Governor Powell has been registered a National Historic Landmark on the Provisions of Historic Sites Act of 1935. National Park Service, U.S. Department of Interior, 1970. There's the hours there. Going into the first room of the Spanish Governor's Palace. Salon. Jose Aslo, the second Marquis de San Miguel de Ayayo, was born in Spain, came to Mexico in 1712, where he owned a large ranch in Coahuila. After being appointed governor of Coahuila, he Tejas Ayayo visited the site for Presidio San Antonio de Bejar and ordered a fort to be built at that location.
So we're departing the living room. Entering the captain's office. This is the original wall there, the rubble stone construction. Yeah, there was that, and then they started to outside, and then once they were over, they were going to do it. Old map of San Antonio. There's San Fernando, which I did a, I did a video on San Fernando already. It's right across. San Antonio. Now we know that wasn't part of the original thing back in the 1730s. Hopefully, actually doesn't feel too hot in here. It feels kind of cool. Pictures the arrival of the Canary Islanders. bed was made in Catalonia, northeastern Spanish region, on the Med. Again with the high ceilings, the high ceilings keep it cool. Uh, right now it's about late 1800 editions. Right now it's about 95 degrees. I'm not really sweating or anything, but it keeps it cool in here. The higher the ceilings that they have. Pablo the Virgin Mary, Pablo St. Anthony de Padua. This is who San Antonio is named after. The renovations, the construction. These are some of the families that came over from the Canary Islands. The last names.
If anybody from the Rio Grande Valley is watching, you got Mercedes and Nelson, which are still uh, real active towns down in the Rio Grande Valley. They're already on here. And where Agua Nueva is, that's around the Corpus Christi region. Pretty cool map, that one. 15, 12, 18, 23. Go outside to the patio in the garden. Saw a view of part of the patio from the outside. We're in the kitchen. The loft upstairs was considered a storage area. Can't go up there. kitchen area here. So you saw part of the stove outside in the back. These haven't changed much. We're in the dining room. This is the dining room area. construction review from this window building where there's a city hall this is another one these were for heat in the room in the winter times Spanish flag there so again youtubers I just left the 
the Spanish governor's palace here in uh, San Antonio. Uh, just a little quick walking tour. Uh, not too bad in there. It's, uh, it's about, like I said, 95 to 98 degrees right now. And it's actually pretty, pretty decent inside. Um, if you like this video, go and like. If you like this video, go and like, share, subscribe. Have a good day. We'll see you around. Adios.